Please note, this video is meant as a demonstration only. There are many fine details that you may not see in this video. This video only shows setups and ways to get into the omoplata position. Part 2 will contain sweeps, additional submissions, and more. Stay tuned. A basic way to get the omoplata is by getting your opponent's arm on the outside so then that way you can open up the arm for the omoplata. It's also a good idea to swipe your opponent's other arm away with your leg so then that way you can clear the angle and the arm for the omoplata. Getting your feet on the hips and your shins and your opponent's bicep is a good way to get a good position to set up omoplata attacks. You could also do this nogi by holding the back of your opponent's triceps while having your shins on your opponent's biceps as well. You can use the pendulum sweep motion to set up an omoplata because lots of times when you go for it your opponent will post out and leave their arm exposed. Also if you get a cross grip and you reach underneath their leg and you get the angle you could lots of times push their arm back and attack for an omoplata. And by shooting your hips up you can also block their arms so you can create omoplata situations from here. A great option is to wrap your arm around and get an overhook on your opponent so in that way you can get better control of them, get tight control of their collar, hip out and then you could attack for a nice smooth tight omoplata from there. When going for a scissor sweep, look for your opponent to post out because they will leave themselves open for omoplata attacks. The hip bump to omoplata is a very high percentage combination. And similar to the hip bump, the kimura to the omoplata is also a very high percentage combination. If your opponent starts defending the arm bar or they pull their arm out, look for omoplata attacks from this situation as well. It's also very common for your opponent to hide their arm back when you go for a triangle choke. When they do this, attack for an omoplata. With the spider guard, you establish great control of your opponent's arms to set up different attacks like the omoplata. With the lasso spider guard, you could attack for an omoplata on the lasso side by pulling their arm through and going for an omoplata from there. And if you attempt to sweep on the other side, your opponent may post out, which leaves an omoplata attack option from the opposite arm as well. And don't forget, you also have the option to spin underneath and go for the spinning omoplata situation too. From the scissor sweep position, if your opponent lassoes your legs, grab his sleeve, roll through, and attack the omoplata. You can also do this from the Z half guard position. This is something that I've hit multiple times. If your opponent tries to attack for an underhook and try to flatten you off in butterfly guard, quickly attack for an omoplata. Also from Z half guard, if your opponent gets an underhook or you have an overhook, you can attack for an omoplata from here. A tricky omoplata attack is when your opponent gets an underhook and tries to escape from side control and bridges into you. Also if they get under you and they start attacking for a double leg, you may be able to sit down and attack for an omoplata on their arm. And if they get under you in any way and they get a single leg on you, you can roll through and get an omoplata attack from there. When you try to stand up in base from the ground and your opponent starts attacking your legs, fall back and attack for an omoplata. And if you get reverse scarf fold and you feel your opponent's arm underneath your butt, you can pull their arm up, roll through, and get an omoplata from there. And you can do something similar by getting a reverse knee on belly, pulling their arm up, and then rolling through. From S mount, when your opponent has their arms in, you could swim your arm through, pull their arm across your thigh, and then sit back for an omoplata. The arm crush position from the guard is also a very good way to transition into the omoplata submission. When my opponent posts on my body or I have sleeve control from reverse de la Hiva, I love spinning into the omoplata. And a sneaky counter to the omoplata is by rolling through and going for another omoplata yourself. When you roll through, pull his arm in between your legs and attack for your own omoplata. When you go for the north-south Kimura grip, you can step your leg around and over their shoulder and attack for the omoplata from there too. When you defend your opponent's ankle lock by scooting your body over his leg, kick your leg through, pull his arm towards you and attack the omoplata as a counter. Always look for situations that you can use your feet to open up omoplata situations. Here, Matt pushes his foot on my bicep so he can attack for the omoplata on the other arm. By extending me away with his feet from De La Hiva guard, Matt is able to expose my arm for an omoplata. If you have a cross grip when you go for the waiter sweep from the close guard and your opponent tries to get back up, as they're attempting to get up, you can attack for an omoplata. Also, when you end up in inverted guard, there's omoplata attacks from this situation as well. Thank you for watching. For more content, please visit www.grapplersguide.com and www.asopian.com. Keep training hard.